Hello everyone, welcome back. In this episode here, um, I'm going to go over some of the things I've been reading about in the news, and I think it's very important uh, for anybody who is, um, um, you know, trading in bitcoins, buying and selling. Um, so they got a picture of this guy, I, I've never, I don't know who this guy is, I never used his service, but look at him, he's got like red beady eyes, he looks all, you know, doped up and everything, so perfect picture for, you know, to criminalize someone. But anyways, um, I'm reading this thing, and if you've seen my previous episodes, um, I did mention, um, I gave some insight into money laundering, and, you know, you... Remember I told you about, I believe, a blindfold willingness for money laundering? Or you, you can't play stupid in when, when it comes to money laundering, especially with Bitcoin, because, uh, you know, there looks like they're really cracking down on, uh, on, on basically Bitcoin crime? I don't know, Bitcoin money laundering? Which, I, I really don't have a problem with that at all, because... Um, I think the scammers, the, um, you know, if you're going to commit a crime, go go back to U.S. dollars is my advice, uh, because if you have enough of it and you and you launder money through uh, the banking system using U.S. dollars, nah, I don't know, you might get a slap on the wrist. Maybe the bank gets fined. Um, I've I've heard earlier reports that uh, uh, HSBC was was laundering a tremendous amount of um, you know US dollars for for drug uh, drug cartels and uh, a threat was made to uh, uh, government officials that uh, if, if they prosecute they you know it would cause another recession not that we ever left we got out of a recession but maybe maybe it would cause a depression um, and nothing was done Nothing was done, and and I've read some reports where, you know, this this basically was confirmed that, or acknowledged that, the U.S. government knew about the money laundering, but did nothing about it. So I'm not sure if they're trying to protect us or if there's something else going on there. But, anyways, um, so I'm gonna scroll down here to where where the money laundering why why this particular person was probably charged for remember I, I told you you can't play stupid you can't claim stupidity when it comes to money laundering okay so basically um, I believe um, somebody he was dealing with he was transacting um, you know bitcoins to to money okay and it turns out this person was basically um, using Silk Road to commit uh, criminal activity. And so instead of, um, you know, once once he had a suspicion, all right, once he once somebody has a suspicion of money laundering, uh, it's too late. You can't turn a blind eye. All right, you cannot turn a blind eye, and you you're gonna have to report. Um, that's kind of the thing about, you know, dealing with money. So I find this ironic because, uh, you know, I got a call, or I called the bank, I called my bank, as you, as you know from my previous episode, and, uh, you know, I, my, my account is quote-unquote frozen for whatever reason, and, um, you know, that's, but I'm not... I'm not. I'm not being charged with anything. As a matter of fact, I asked the bank if if I'm at fault for anything, and they told me they're not going to report me. So I'm like, okay. I don't. I don't know how I can be reported because I really did not know anything. So, anyways, um, I don't know how they're going to treat this. Um, I think they're going to send a message um, that money laundering with U.S. dollars and bitcoins will not be tolerated. And, uh, you know, they're, they're, unfortunately, I think they're going to make an example out of this person. Or, or again, they may be cracking down on Bitcoin in general. I'm not too sure. Uh, they can try, but it's, it's very difficult to crack down. 
And then you're seeing other governments trying to also uh, crack down on Bitcoin. And, um, you know, um, I'm, I'm sensing, I'm not scared, by the way, you know, if, if uh, the thing about being legitimate is that, uh, like I said, you can call the police, you can call the FBI, you can call the Secret Service, I can, you know, I don't know, call my congressman, call my local re representative, I can, I, can, uh, I can do a lot of things legally within the framework of the legal system. Um, you know, if anything, you know, as long as I'm legitimate about everything I do, um, you know, if anything, if I was charged with anything or whatever, uh, I could take my case to the uh, Supreme Court or some, you know, the Supreme Court and then the whatever state Supreme Court, whatever, whatever it may be, okay? So, um, you know, I really think a lot of this has to go. Well, it'll never go away. It'll always be there because, like I said, if, if it exists in U.S. dollars, it will exist in Bitcoin, all right? And uh, so that's, that's just the way it is right now, okay? Um, so my, my advice to people who are legitimate traders, who are legitimately buying and selling, um, you know, uh, this, you may, you may be under attack, okay, you may be, be you, you also may be scrutinized by your bank, um, also you may be watched, both, uh, what you do on, online and in, in real life, um, but you may, you know, you're not being charged with anything, but you're just being watched. And, uh, I don't know, I always had this paranoia of someone's watching me. Now that I know someone's watching me, you know, it's kind of weird. My paranoia is gone. Um, you know, I have no problem with what I'm doing because it's, um, until some uh, legislation or, or laws or clarification on, on uh, how to handle uh, Bitcoin, um, right now, um, you know, there's no existing law against, specifically against, uh, a Bitcoin. Uh, there is money laundering laws. Uh, of course, you know, if people laundered Bitcoin for Bitcoin, um, I don't know if that would be money laundering. Uh, of course, uh, you know, criminals aren't looking for Bitcoin. They're, they're looking for money, which is silly. So, um, again, I'm going to reiterate, if you're, if you're trying to go if you're looking for US dollars and you're trading Bitcoin for US dollars uh, you're on the losing side of the trade okay uh, and in my opinion you will always be on the losing side of the trade if you're trying to uh, uh, cash out uh, in US dollars for Bitcoin but if you really knew what it was and how it works uh, that's not a problem for you um, so anyways so this is the part here um, let me see right here where let me see here okay so the the top part and the bottom part here so if you look it says um, let me see according to the criminal complaint filed in federal court I don't know how to say this name Falila Falila first appeared on Silk Road, Silk Road as the, the BTC King okay so um, basically, somebody, somebody uh, committed a crime, and then that somebody uh, went to, I guess, the Sherm guy, and uh, you know he was trying to cash out on the bitcoins because the exchange was done in bitcoins, and then um, they wanted to cash out. So using uh, Bit Instant they were able to basically facilitate that transaction. So, um, and according to this, it seems like Sherm, Mr. Sherm, uh, had some knowledge of, of suspicious activity, but never reported it, right? As a matter of fact, he even advised them how, okay, how he can, um, you know, process um, his transactions so it's not 
suspicious. All right. Now, there's nothing I think wrong with that. If you're telling people, hey, you know, if you, um, like, for example, I'll give you an example. There's, there's nothing illegal about what, what I'm gonna, what I'm going to say to you. Okay. Um, like, uh, if you don't like to report heavy cash deposits, um, instead of depositing ten thousand, you just deposit five thousand, and you know, a couple days later, you deposit five thousand again. You don't really have to report that money, you know, when you cash in, because they want to. You know, when they see large deposits like that, they go, uh, you know, they'll ask, like, they'll make you fill out a form. But again, nothing, nothing wrong with that, right? Um, you know, I just don't feel like filling out a form for my own money, uh, you know, and of course the banks have their reasons for doing it, but so, um, but in this case, I, I, I think, I'm not sure, but I think what happened was that, that Mr. Sherm had suspicions of possible money laundering. And instead of, of course, uh, reporting it, um, they basically, they basically, he, he turned a blind eye. So he turned a blind eye and actually even helped in, in facilitating a transaction, or facilitating transactions with, uh, Mr., um, Fi, I don't know how to say it, Fialia, let me see, Faila, or Fayeya. You know, two L's in Spanish is, I think, a Y sounding. Or, I don't know how, but this this dude right here, Mr. F. Mr. S and Mr. F. I'll just say that. Make it easier. Um, so, I, I guess apparently uh, Mr. Uh, BTC King, Mr. Bitcoin King here, uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to go away for a long time. Now, um, Mr. S, I don't know. I don't know, I mean... Um, I guess he can make a claim of stupidity or he really didn't know. I don't know what the facts truly are, but I know that there, there must be enough uh, evidence to uh, make a charge at least. So, But we'll let the courts decide on, on Mr. Sherm's fate. I think Mr. Mr. F over there, if he's proven to actually have bought any, um, any drugs or committed any crime and, and tried to profit from that crime, he's pretty much going away. Um, so, my point is here is, uh, for criminals, uh, to get out of Bitcoin, um, you know, trying to get money from Bitcoin, you're on the, you're on the losing end of this, and you, you really don't know what Bitcoin is and how it works, um, because if you did, you wouldn't try to cash out in U.S. dollars. You'd be, you'd be buying, literally, you would be buying more Bitcoin if you truly know what Bitcoin is and how it works. But because you don't, and you are stuck in, uh, you're pretty much stuck in debt. You know, remember what you're trying to get. You're trying to collect U.S. dollars. Uh, U.S. dollars is uh, an instrument of debt. So you're, you're always going to be on the losing side of the trade. Anyways, this concludes this episode. It's more of a, a you know, current event type of episode for Bitcoin. Um, if anybody has any comments, feel free to comment, like, dislike, um, you know, ask a question, or, or if you have uh, some revealing information, uh, please put them down. Even do a video response. And until next time, uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Bye. Oh, let me let me end out with uh, with with the picture. There we go. I mean, man, they just make him really look bad, don't they? I mean, they just, he's got the red beady eyes, and, uh, like, look at those red beady eyes, man. He's got the red beady eyes. He's, he hasn't shaved. He looks like a thug. Like, look at him wear kind of like a hood, hood jacket. I mean, um, man, I don't know if this is when they took a picture of him. This is like a Well, I don't know when they took the picture. Hopefully, this is not him coming out of jail, or going into jail. But uh, yeah, I mean, they just they just picked this picture. Say, hey, um, look at those red beady eyes, and and he looks guilty. Let's use this picture. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, bye.